Hi everyone, welcome to the May 15th, 2018 episode of the Oh So Inspired Collaboration. This monthly collaboration is hosted by Call Me Crafty Al, Alicia. Hi Alicia. There's quite a number of us in the collaboration and uh, they will all be linked below the video as well as Call Me Crafty Al. Um, and this month we were inspired by a video by Sparkling Char. Hi Char. Um, she had done a, um, she was doing like a craft fair series. I think it was last year. Don't hold me to that. Um, and what she had done is taking a large size of these, you know, the regular size, and got it cut in half across this way and she had made mini recipe books out of half composition books so that was our inspiration and she did the video was not really a tutorial it was just showing her already packaged up um recipe books and we really didn't get to see much but the front cover of them because they were already packaged up but they were cute they were really pretty and cute um and she, i think she had tabs in them and and so forth like a recipe um book would have so i got first i was thinking i don't know if i really want to do that because anymore in my family anyway everybody looks stuff up on the internet as far as recipes and i just dumped a ton of recipe um books to um like goodwill stores and stuff because they take up a lot of room and whatnot but there's a few recipes in the family you know kind of hand-me-down things and whatnot and i thought well okay people might like that idea to hand down some some traditional recipes or whatnot or as a gift to someone who says oh i really like that you know can you tell me what the recipe is that kind of thing so that would be a great idea for a gift so i my time's been a little short and i didn't have time to go to staples which is the only store around here i could do this at to get my composition books cut last year i bought a ton of composition books because they were on sale at target for like 17 cents or something so yeah, I have a lot of them, but I didn't have time to get them cut in half. So I thought, okay, what else do I have? And I have a little photo album, um, you know, like the photo sleeves. I thought about altering that, which I might still do, but I think I'm going to use a different paper pad with that. Anyway, I've been wanting to try these um, little flip books out of file folders. So I thought, well, maybe I can combine a flip book, file folder, file folder flip book with a recipe book. And it just so happened that last year also, I had won a giveaway from Call Me Crafty Owl. And it was these six by six, well, they were um, 12 by 12 papers cut into six by sixes. And she gave a couple of them away. And it was this paper pad, I actually have it now, called Farmer's Market by Recollections. This was a hot buy last year sometime. So it's very bright and colorful and summery. And so what um, Alicia had done, she had made something. And it, it might have been a flip book or an album. It's, I think it was an album. Um, and then with the rest of the papers, she cut them into... I believe two sets of six by sixes and and two people won them if I remember correctly so without further ado and I still have that many papers left out of what she gave me but here's my little um, file folder flip recipe book <laughs> so um, the closure, I don't know if I'm convinced is the best way, and I know I have it really way too long, but it just um, wraps around from the back, and it is tucked under in the back and ties in the front. Um, 
honestly, I don't know how else you would close this because if you have anything in here, the only other option I think would be a magnet maybe right here in the front, but that wouldn't close the back. So I don't know. You'd have to have a series of magnets. I'm not, or, or maybe a band that came around if your tab back here was over to a side further, but mine was not. So anyway, this is the front, and um, I used these, the one with these little circles, which I still have some of those left I thought would make a cool idea for something else. But this little tag uh, came with the cut aparts, and it says from the kitchen of, except it did not have this on. This I fussy cut out of um, one of the paper pads, I mean paper pieces. And then when you open it up, Here's another part of that paper from cutting out the top and it creates a nice little tuck spot and there's a mason jar cut apart that they can write something on. And then you have this other little flip part. Um, this, the red hearts here actually came out of, um, I believe, this Happy Planner five sheet um it's just called pps 67 but it's basically all food related stuff and i've had that in my stash for a while and i'm pretty sure that came off one of the sheets in here anyway i'm, sh I'm sure it did so i used that and this was actually cut apart and i cut it over here and then i inked it with actually there was another memento ink it was an orange one uh, orange marmalade or something. So over here I used some of the floral paper and plaid and I just put a plaid little um, pocket here. These seed seed packets, um, fake seed packets were cut apart. I just trimmed them down just ever so slightly so they fit in here because once you put this on it takes up some of the room. And this one has strawberries. And these little baskets, again, I fussy cut out and put on. And then on this page, um, there's a little farmer's pocket ledger and there's a side tuck pocket. And this little piece with the tab oops, was um, a piece left from this paper here. And again, another little basket cut out. And then here, there were two recipe cards in the part that Alicia gave me and I just thought you know what I couldn't I was gonna originally just put one here and I thought well that's kind of weird just to have one recipe card in a recipe book plus if I put this pocket in which I did then they were too big and they stuck up and out too far and I didn't want to cut them that much I had to trim them a little bit but not that much so I just glued them together put them back to back and um, made a little washi tape flip here so I thought that came out pretty good and then there is a pocket here with a tag which I didn't put any ribbon on and it says sweet treats now they could also I have to see if I have another tag there is a pocket on the top up here that I don't currently have anything in and it's right there so I may move this to there and put something else in this pocket. I haven't quite decided yet. And then off to the side, there is this pocket here. And this file flipbook, file folder flipbook is not my original idea. Uh, I've been seeing them. Jan's Crazy Life recently made one. Perfectly Imperfect Crafts recently made one. In fact, she sent me one in my um, challenge I have going on. Um, not, not recipe themed or anything, but, um, I believe they watched videos because I did by Creative Crafticality. I will link her video below that I watched to do the base of this. Um, she has one where she actually decorates it too, but it, it's kind of to your own style for decoration. Anyway, the, the file folder base for the flip book it i will link that below also and there are other ones out there um i searched and there were some others and i started to watch a couple others but it was creative craft who's i followed uh tutorial i followed 
So over here are more cut aparts and they fit in there just like tags. It's a gross, two grocery lists actually. And off to the market, so that's really three. And a notes. Um, and they're just tucked in the side spot here. I did not um, put ribbon or anything on them because if I did, when you go to tie this, it would really bend them. In fact, I still have to be careful. Okay, so anyway, when you flip this over, there's this little um, farmer's market stand thing, and I glued that on three sides and turned it into, oops, that one got put in the wrong place, turned it into a little flip. Let me put it this way. Not a flip, a um, pocket, excuse me. I don't know how I did that. Okay. And what I have in there right now is just the rest of these seed packets that came with the, the kit. We've got carrots and pumpkin. And I thought, you know, they're plain on the back and I left them that way because you could jot down a quick little recipe or grocery list on the back of them. How cute would that be? So they are in there. And then in the back... I made an accordion pocket and I need practice on accordion pockets so if any of you know a great tutorial on how to do those really good let me know but I used the mini composition book also um, the pack of three you get at Dollar Tree you know the ones that look like this they come in a pack of three for a dollar and I did cover one of those and I used a sticker out of the mom be happy planner that says nothing brings people together like good food so I thought that was kind of cute and I just put a little bit of um, this is Michael's um, celebrated trim over the black binding and uh, I did not put anything inside I thought about it but you know I thought it'd be just a nice little book to jot down recipes or um, whatever and then back here it says happiness is homemade and I left this little tag thing on the mason jar blank because I thought I could put initials there or something you know for whoever it would go to the front tag says who it's from kitchen from the kitchen of and this could say who it um, is going to so that is my oh oh so inspired project for the month of may i hope you enjoyed it it was fun making it it's fun to to <clears throat> try something different and this paper is really taking me out of my comfort zone because you know guys i usually am the one who does oops i can't tie upside down <laughs> who does butterflies and flowers and whatnot and this is not that um so it was really something different but that's okay kind of got me thinking outside the box a little bit and got my creative juices flowing and you know what i didn't use any stickles on here at least not yet or any other sparkly stuff other than this little bit of ribbon and I kind of like it for this project not not all glittery um, I mean there's some foil accents on the hens and other things but I didn't really want a lot of bling bling on this particular book based on how it's going to be used so yeah i guess that's it um please do go check out all the other participants in the oso oh inspired collab and see what they came up with from sparkling shars uh video with her amazing projects all right and until next month take care and be safe hugs love and peace bye for now <music>